تفضل لطفي وعليكم السلام ورحمه الله وبركاته Halloween. Clear. Clear. Question uh, is uh, from our brother Lutfi. May Allah Azzawajal be kind and tolerant with him. With regards to Halloween, <laughs> is it permissible to halalify All Hallows Eve? As we mentioned last week, uh, the day of remembering the saints and the martyrs and the dead, right? Light a candle. Do you have a jack o' lantern on your porch, Jackie? And did you carve a pumpkin? Yes or no? No. <laughs> Allah knows best or no? <laughs> you did. Not this year. <laughs> It's all here. Khairan, <laughs> inshallah. At the end of the day, those who say that it's best to do a lecture or to have a feast or have a party at the masjid for the kids. The Muslim youth to keep them off the street from trick or treating. So now we just make a halaloween. Tahir. Barakallahu feekum. Those who say it's haram, it's tashabuh bil kufar, imitating the non Muslims, etc. All right. So we're going to have to break this down just a little bit now. All right. So first and foremost is Abu Sayyid. Why are your children going to go trick or treating? Why do you fear that your children are going to dress up like Batman and Robin and Catwoman and walk around with a basket getting Snickers and Three Musketeers and, and Reese's Pieces? Unless your Islam is weak from the get-go and you're a horrible father, you don't teach your children about Islam, Islamic identity, the virtue of the Eid, the Kuffar, their mushrik pagan holidays, etc. So therefore, my Islam is so weak My children are mixed with the kuffar so much. And even if they're mixed with the kuffar, because many of our children are mixed with the kuffar, whether they go to Islamic school or public school, they're going to mix with them one way or another. They go to the store, you go to get your license. One way or another, you're going to mix with the what? Kuffar living in this country. Some people more than others. We ask Allah for protection. But even if my children are mixed with the kuffar, yo, your name is Ahmed. I named you Amina. This is where you come from. It's what you believe in. You can talk to people in a classroom. You don't have to be a robot. But these people are not your friends. This is unacceptable. This is acceptable. This is Jannah. This is fire. You teach them even if they have to do what? Mix with the kufar. Like you go into the cold. I have to. I'm a security guard. I have to stand in the cold. So I have to do what now? I dress properly. I have something warm to drink. I have something to protect me from the wind, etc. If I have to mix in the what? In the cold. And if not, the best thing is to what? Stay indoors, but I may have to be outside. So at least arm your children of Islam and Islamic identity. I don't celebrate Halloween. So you fear that the 30th, the 31st of October, they're going to go out trick-or-treating and got to keep them off the streets, right? And take them and lock them in the masjid for one night. Then it already proves that you've failed as an Islamic parent from the get-go. Everyone understand this? You have failed. And what you are afraid that they're going to go trick-or-treating if you don't do something in the masjid. Can we agree on this or not? What's the chances of that now? You have an Islamic household. You teach your children properly. You don't have to be perfect. We're not saying perfection. Everyone has a mistake and a shortcoming. But their general, the general strength of Islamic identity. What's the, what's the chances? I mean that I'm afraid Roman and Josie are going to go trick-or-treating. What's the chances of that? And which I have to what? Lock the masjid and give them candy in a lecture on that night. What's the chances of that? So the whole idea of Halloween from the get-go is messed up. The whole idea is what? It's messed up. It's totally messed up. As far as is it permissible, so on and so forth, if you want to have an activity at the masjid to counter that kufr and to counter that those kufar, then that's one thing. The kids have off school, it's Christmas break, Thanksgiving weekend, etc. Why not do a lecture? That's one thing. In which we're just going to try to be like them, tone it down, Islamify it, halalify it, But in actuality, it's a Halloween party. We're cutting off the lights, we're scaring them, we're giving them candy. What is this? Everyone understand this? What is this, Yanni? Give your kids candy throughout the year. Treat them throughout the year. huh? Don't trick them. What? Throughout the year. Man, he who, cheat, who cheats us isn't what? He who tricks us what? That's the hadith of the prophet. There's no trick or treat in this land. You don't trick a Muslim, period. Man, 
Falesa? Minna, he's not from us. So I don't see the need for Halloween. I see danger in Halloween as far as taking the void of time and using it fruitfully, then that's a different story. Having a lecture, having an event, even having a dinner, but no candy. I would understand this. When I tell my children today in 2018, anything that has a rainbow on it, do not bring it in my house. If you have something with a rainbow on it, hide it. Don't let me see it. There's no rainbows, period, that I'm accepting. What's wrong with a rainbow? It's a thunderstorm in the summertime. Rain comes down and you see a what? A rainbow. A beautiful sign of a lost creation, a lost power. A rainbow is amazing. It's a phenomenon. Light, and air, and water. It's amazing. But in 2018, there's no what? The rainbow is not okay. Even though the rainbow is originally what? A good thing. I would understand this. Even the concept of LGBTQ, if you break it down, break down each color, unity, diversity, no discrimination, that's not necessarily against the teachings of what? Islam. I don't understand this. I'm being real now. If you ever, if you actually studied the history of their, of their, of their, their, their logo, each color represents something, and they mean to unify, not to discriminate. Everyone is accepted, etc. The basis of that in Islam is generally what? Acceptable. We don't discriminate against races. You're from Indonesia. You're from there. You're from this. You're this. You're older. A man. A woman. Ill. We don't discriminate. There's no racism. Are we understand this? The Ummah is composed of different parts. But now you're talking about this, and you're talking about that act, and this is okay, and that's not haram. We say no. So the rainbow is originally okay. It's a good thing. What kids, what children don't like rainbows and don't like different colors and toys? It's a nice thing to have. But not in now in these times. And the same applies to candy on the 31st of October. My children, my kids, you're not getting no bag of candy in the mash on this day. We'll give it to you tomorrow. We'll give it to you on the 30th, but not what? Everybody understand the point here? Everybody get the point? Having a lecture, giving the kids candy, having fun, la best. We can't make the, the halal haram, but not on the 31st. Not cut off the light and turn on the lights and scare the kids and say halaloween. That's a problem. In my humble opinion, and Allah knows best, I hope that my answer is fair and impartial and based off of logic and reason. Wallahu alam.